Hey, Michael, how are you doing? Greetings from Toronto, Canada. How are you? Oh, no, you're in Toronto. Beautiful. I, I, I've worked yeah, a couple a... times in Toronto. I love that city. I know. I think the last time I got to speak to you in person, you actually came here to talk about Guardians of the Galaxy. So it's, it's always great to have the opportunity to talk to you. And I have to ask you right off the bat, I mean, you are no stranger to post-apocalyptic worlds. What was it about this one that you thought, I got to get in there and get these monsters? <laughs> <laughs> well, look, let me tell you, I mean, um, it, 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 was a, it was a great script. What can I say? It was a beautiful script, well-written, well-played by our, our, our fellow actors, uh, Dylan and, and uh, Ariana, uh, uh, myself, we, we just jumped right in and, and, and took it to heart and just went with it, you know? We had a blast. We had a great, uh, our camaraderie was uh, uh, stellar. Uh, we just had a fun, fun, fun time. It was great working with both of those actors and, and Dylan especially. The man, I, I mean, he killed it. I mean, the, the guy just held up that entire movie. Come on, it was beautiful. Well done, well done, Dylan. It was really fun to watch you. And I have to say, I really think that you and Ariana Greenblatt need your own spinoff. Clyde and Minnow are so good together. And, and you just working with her was so fantastic to watch. Tell me a little bit about working with this young budding star. My God, you guys are great. Ah, well, thank you. You know what? She she was a joy, absolutely joy to work with. We had such a blast. We are still good friends. Her and my, her and uh, her dad and I talk all the time. Um, it's just a blast. She is so busy. Um, she she's she's off uh, getting another gig somewhere, and and uh, she's just working her little. A uh, keister off, man. Uh, everybody, everybody wants this kid to be in their project, and and as well they should. She's beautiful. She's got great energy. Her energy and my energy just melded together instantly. We had such a beautiful time together. You meet you meet humans every now and then in life, where you you just know somehow it just feels perfect, like you've met before, and this young girl was just so beautiful we hit it off completely joking and uh, then all all of a sudden here comes dylan and the three of us just went wild crazy on set the poor director had to rein us in so many times we would just go off book and just go at it it was just a blast an absolute blast yeah, it's fun to watch you two together. And listen, I, you know, we know how you fared with zombies. Um, it, who, what's harder to tackle, a zombie or a monster? Well, the zombies are all zombies. They all want to eat you. But in our movie, there are some monsters that don't necessarily want to eat you. Okay? So you got to know the difference between the two and you got to know how to deal with every single different one. Um, and that takes time and experience, like Clyde and Minnow have. And, and Dylan's character, Joel, does not. And that's the gist of the whole movie. We got, we, it, it, sets, it sets him up for his, for his trek all the way across to the love of his life, you know, which is 80 miles away. But the dealing, I would much rather deal with a monster then deal with a zombie because every single zombie want to eat wants to eat you. Not every single monster wants to eat you in our movie. Yeah, <laughs> um, I, I know that uh, you have so much coming up, and it, it's so it's always so much fun to watch you, uh, uh, whether it's the big screen, the small screen. I just I love everything that you do, but I know that we're going to see you in the new uh, Fast and Furious film. Uh, how cool was that experience? Yeah. Oh, Fast 9, I, I absolutely, you know, that that came about really quickly. That was one of those gigs that I didn't have a lot of time to prepare for. Uh, I, they, 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 all of a sudden, they, they wanted Michael Rooker uh, for some crazy reason. And I was like, well, when? And there's like, they're like, now. And so I didn't have a lot of time to prepare. 
but I, I, we had enough time to get in there and do the job. And, and I, I was, I was thrilled to be a part of the project. So, uh, had a, had a, uh, had a great time and, and had, had a, a, a just a blast on the project. It's going to be beautiful. I, I have a feeling you guys are going to enjoy the heck out of it. It's, I can't wait to see it. I, I know everything has been pushed over. And I hope that you're you're well and you're healthy now, Michael. I know that you did contract the COVID. Uh, everything okay with you now? You're all good? Oh, yeah. I, I, I tell people uh, every time I start talking about COVID, I have to show off the guns. Here they come. There you go, everybody. Michael Rooker is okay. Boom. I feel wow. fine. I feel very I'm, healthy. I'm glad to see and everything seems yeah, cool. I, I know. I'm glad to see that you're well and that you're you're keeping busy. And this love and monsters is just so much fun. It was so good to see you with uh, and and you know seeing a crossbow might have brought back some memories for you. I would think, huh? Oh, the the whole crossbow thing. I gotta tell you, I I would I that would not be the weapon of choice for me. Have you ever shot a crossbow? Those things are so difficult to load. I'm sorry, crossbow fans. It's just not my weapon of choice. I'd have to go with, I'd have to go with a big stick. <laughs> wow, amazing, amazing. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Again, uh, so wonderful, always so wonderful to talk to you. Best of luck with this and and everything else. And uh, after the pandemic, you got to come back to Toronto. We need to see you in person. Okay? Absolutely. I, I would love to. Great talking to you. Okay. Take care and have a great weekend, Michael. So wonderful to talk to you this morning. Take care. Bye-bye.